Hey, okay, so in this Shopify SEO tutorial, we're going to uh, show you how to add and edit the robots.txt file. Now, this file is not available by default on a Shopify store, and uh, it's worth noting that Shopify will not support uh, any changes you make to this uh, store uh, if you add this file. Sorry, they won't, um, what I mean by that, they won't support any changes or to the file itself. They will still, of course, support you in other ways. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to add the file first, then I'll give you a small example on a small edit to it. Now, it's worth noting as well that before you edit this, that massive consequences can happen. Your store could be completely removed from Google. So this is one of the files just be super careful with before you do anything. Okay, so first of all, how to add it or how to find it. It's in the theme file. So what we need to do is, uh, this is your Shopify admin, go to online store. Now we need to edit the code in the theme file. I always like to duplicate a theme first and work on the duplicate copy. Uh, that way if I do make any errors or anything I can fix them and it's not live. So this is your live theme and this is the copy that's been duplicated. So we'll just let that finish before we go ahead. Okay, then click the three dots here, click edit code. Then the next step is to add a new template under templates folder. So click add new template. Then in the drop down, look for robots.txt file. Then click done. And voila, we've added the robots.txt file to Shopify. Now we can go ahead and edit it. Uh, if you want, uh, you can find this um, This documentation here by Shopify and will give you some warnings. I'll just paste it into the and it talks about editing. It gives an overview. So you can go ahead and read that afterwards. Um, now, so why would you want to do this? So one of the reasons I use the robots.txt file is to help uh, the Google bots not discover or not crawl certain pages. So especially on large stores over a thousand products or even 500 products and above, it's worth uh, uh, removing any thin content. So a lot of URLs get created by any e-commerce platform, but Shopify in particular creates a lot of URLs, especially around product tags or vendor pages that you just won't use because you'll do something else. So these are pages you can't really optimize uh, within Shopify. And so, and they're generally what's considered thin content. Uh, so what we would do here is we would add a bit of code into our robots.txt file uh, to help remove those from the index. Now, the Google bots and other crawlers are not obliged to follow this file, but for the most part, 99% of the time, they will check this file before they crawl the rest of your site. So. I'm just going to grab a piece of code and put it in here to show you an example of what this would look like. Okay, I've grabbed my piece of code and I'm going to enter it here. Now, uh, before I click save, I'll explain what this one does. So this will disallow any collection vendor pages. So that's any, if you have uh, a store of, or a house of brands and you have brands like Adidas or O'Neill and in the vendor section you've got Adidas or O'Neill or any other brand you can think of Nike for example uh, you it will then remove those pages from indexing because typically we would have another collection with that brand name anyway being indexed so that will this will just remove anything from forward slash collections forward slash vendors plus the query than the brand name. So it's just removing a lot of duplicate content and thin content from Google. And the second example I have here is just removing all the tags that you might have in a blog. 
uh, we don't want those being indexed because uh, we could end up with thousands of tags and it might make it easy for navigation within a store or within a blog but they just create excessive amount of URLs for crawling and indexing and it just affects your crawl budget overall. So I'm going to click save here and that's two examples. There are many other examples that you can do but this is just to get started uh, two quite common ones. Okay so there we have it that's a quick tutorial on how to add and then edit the robots.txt file. If you have any questions or comments or any uh, queries about this or uh, anything on Shopify SEO, just leave a comment below. Cheers.